I wanted to make this video a long time ago just to share my experience in picking a heat gun. I spent more money than I need to. Hopefully, after watching this video, you make the right decision and save you a few dollars. I spent less than nine dollars and get this heat gun and I use it for more than two years and I built around 12 bowls. It worked very well until one day it failed. I found one on Amazon and it is four times as expensive. Since I've been doing a lot of fusion work, therefore I decided to pick one with more features. And it has two speeds. One is slow and the other two is fast. And it's also 1500 watt, which is same as the other one. It also comes with a set of adapters. At first I thought a reducer may give me a more accurate heating control. It turned out it doesn't really help much. The big problem is once I installed the adapter, it's very difficult to remove. When I adjust the temperature control, the digital readout will reflect the temperature at the outlet. But this number to me doesn't mean much because I will look at the surface of the crawl first being fused instead of looking at the number on the digital readout. As on the temperature control, I usually set it to max. Instead of tuning the temperature, I would rather move the heat gun closer or further away from the crawl plus to come up with the desired temperature, which is more convenient than turning the knob. I also do not use the reducer to have a better control of where I should apply the heat. Instead, I will block off the areas which I don't want to be heated, and this is more accurate too. Therefore, $9 Harbor Flight heat gun would be good enough for me to build both. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support. If you find this video useful, please hit the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel and I have more interesting things to come in the near future. Thanks again. See you.